Hello and welcome to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we will be going through similarity of circles today, which is IXL P9. So you're going to see pretty much the same type of problem throughout the entire IXL today, no matter what your SMART score is. And here we have in front of us a more or less basic problem. So we're having to do with two things. One, we're going back to translations. So we want to know what the translation rule is to get our first circle here, circle S, translated or slid, right, right, we're gonna slide it. Uh, so it's perfectly overlapping with S prime, the second circle. So how do we get S to S prime? And then the second thing you need to remember is scale factor or zoom factor, whatever you wanna call it. And that's just, uh, how do we get from a circle of this size to a circle of this size in which we look at the radius? So uh, we'll do this real quick here. Okay, so first things first, we want a translation rule. And what we're gonna do is we are going to translate the center of our first circle over to the center of our second circle. And we gotta, we gotta do that in the X and the Y direction. So we'll start with the X. So how do we get from center S right here to center S prime just in the X direction or just in the left to right or horizontal direction? Well. In the positive direction, we move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we're uh, matching up with S prime. So our X part of the rule is gonna be X plus seven because we're going in the positive direction, right? We're moving into higher, higher numbers. And then we're going uh, seven spaces. And now we're gonna do Y. So from here or from here, it doesn't matter. We'll do Y, so we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so uh, we are moving 10 in the positive or up direction. So the Y part of our rule is just gonna be Y plus 10. Okay, so that's step one. We have completed the translation rule and now we are going to move over to the scale factor. So to do scale factor or zoom factor, we just need to analyze the radii or the radiuses of both circles. So we'll start with our first circle. Our first circle has a radius of one, two, three, right? So the length here is gonna be three units. And it doesn't matter if you go left or right or you can do up, it's the same thing. It's also three, right? The radius is gonna be the same no matter where you pull it from. So this has a radius of three. Now let's count the radius for circle S prime. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one has a radius of six. So how do we get from three to six, right? And this is scale factor. So we're gonna be talking about multiplication and division. So what number do we have to multiply uh, three by to get to six? Well, three times two is six, right? So our scale factor is just two. And that's gonna be it. So we're gonna type that in. We have x plus seven and y it was plus 10. And then a scale factor of two. There you have it. Okay, same type of problem here. I'll work through this one a, a little bit quicker. So uh, remember the first circle in the series that you need to pay attention to is the letter without the prime. So here we have T prime down here, this little circle, and then that's gonna be translated over to T prime over here. So this small circle is gonna become this large circle. So scale factor wise, I'm just gonna do a quick count. We start here uh, at negative eight and we end up at zero. So what's the distance between negative eight and zero? Well, that's eight, so it moves eight times in the X direction, in the positive X direction, right? So we'll go X plus eight. And then now we'll do y. How do we go from t to t prime? So we start at negative six and end up at positive one, which is a distance of seven. Or you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, in the positive direction, it's going up. So it's going to be y plus seven and scale factor. So it looks like this small circle has a radius of two and this large circle has a radius of one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how do we get from 2 to 8? Well, 2 times 4 is 8. So our scale factor is 4. Fantastic. Okay, same kind of problem here. So I'll skip a level. Okay, I'll do this one real quick. So again, we're going to start with our smaller circle because we have D. You know, it's just it's the pre-image. And we go to D prime our image. We always go from our first circle here to our second. And so in the X direction, we're going to travel from negative 5 to positive 3, which is 8, right? We're going to count 8 in the positive direction for X. So it's going to be X plus 8. Now Y is uh, we start up here at the center of uh, circle D, and we go down to get to the same level as D prime. So we start at positive 7 and we go down until we hit negative 2. The distance between positive 7 and negative 2 is 9. And so we are going to go down, therefore writing y minus 9. Okay, because we're going down, we're going in the negative direction in the y. So now we do our scale factor. Our scale factor, uh, see our radius is 1, 2, 3 for circle D. And for D prime, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how do we get from 3 to 6? That's just 2. So 2. Submit. That is correct. OK, good. Let me skip. OK, let's do one here. So now our first circle is circle T right here. And it turns into the small circle T prime. So it's a little different from the ones we've seen before. But same rule applies. So we're going to the x direction to get from t to t prime and the x we start at negative one and we go over to positive seven so what's the difference the distance between negative one and positive seven that would be eight and since we're going in the positive direction it's going to be x plus eight okay and now for y we start at zero and we go down to negative five so the distance between zero and negative five or you can just count is five is five so we'll do y minus five, because again, we're going down in the negative direction, and then scale factor. So how do we get from a circle of this size to a circle of this size? Well, the radius is one, two, three, four, five, six, and the radius here is one, two. So what do we have to multiply or divide six by to get to two? And that's going to be three. So we're thinking in terms of multiplication here. So when we have a large circle turning into a smaller circle, it's always going to be a uh, number smaller than one or, or a fraction in other words. So what do we have to multiply six by to get two? Well, we're gonna divide it by three so the scale factor is just one over three. It's gonna be, uh, this circle is a third as large as the circle here. Brilliant. Okay. And I'm gonna skip to the end here to see if there's really anything that's different. I'm pretty sure it's all the same though, yep. Go J to J prime, up to 92. Yep. Okay, uh, I'll just make a note for this one. Even though the circle is inside the circle here, our image is inside the pre-image, don't worry about it. Same rule, right? You're just gonna translate J onto J prime, and then how do we get a circle from a circle of this size to a circle of this smaller size here, okay? That's where I'm going to end the video. Study hard, stay safe, and catch you on the next IXL tutorial video. See you later, and goodbye.